Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to an episode of Coffee with Ian. So last week I tried a little bit of, let me just adjust this here. Last week I tried a little bit of um, the live stream feature on YouTube. Uh, and then some people actually pointed out the fact that it wasn't uh, in sync with my voice, uh, which I expect a kind of idea. I don't know why my computer does it, but it does. Whenever I just try to record straight the webcam without uh, a separate piece of recording software, for whatever reason, it doesn't uh, link up very nicely. So that's the reason why we're here today using this as opposed to what we had last time, basically. So that's also bad in the end. Um, what's been going on in the farm sim world? I've been enjoying County Line still. Uh, I really like that map. Um, still, still so much to do. Like I feel like there's because you're playing because you're playing with seasons. Everything just takes a list a little bit longer to do, which I don't mind actually. It spaces it out a little bit more, but it also makes it so a lot of times you kind of see some of the same things for a while, unfortunately. So that's just the way it works uh, in that scenario because you're kind of stuck with you know doing hay during hay season or you know plowing snow in the winter or whatnot. So. It's one of those things. Although I do have a new snow plow mod, which will be interesting to try out, uh, that I have that I got a while ago. I forget where I even saw that. I might have been from Landy Kid stream a while back, or it might have been from maybe Daggerwind. I don't know. I can't remember. One or the other. Anyways, so pick that up, and I'm gonna give that a go and see how it works for me. Um, I don't know why I always do that. I always lead on the one side. I have no idea why I do that. Anyways, I did get a new pack. I got a package, uh, which is good. Uh, this is uh, the new hard drive I ordered not too long ago there. I mentioned that I ordered a new hard drive from Newegg.ca. Uh, it's a 250 gigabyte SSD, uh, Western Digital Blue. I'm going to use it in my old computer and speed that computer up. So when I want to boot it up real quick and do something with it, it doesn't take like 20 minutes to boot up. It'll take, you know, hopefully less than a minute to boot up and do all its things. And I think what I might do as well is I might do uh, a Linux as a secondary uh, secondary operating system um, just to see what it's like. Because apparently you can do like a virtual box of Linux, but the problem you run into is that you just don't get a full idea what it's like. So anyhow, I'm just I've always been curious about it. I just never done it, never done anything about it. So that's why I'm kind of like, well, let's give it a go and see how it goes. So anyways, other other big news: the DLC for the Hunter Call of the Wild came out. Uh, the weapons pack one, which in indicates there may be more than one coming out in the near future, which is awesome. Uh, I like that game a lot. I don't know how many hours I put in that game already, uh, but it is fantastic. Like, it's like, I, beside Farm Sim, it's like my next go-to at the moment. Um, 207 hours in Call of the Wild, apparently. That's not too bad. Euro Trucks got 278. American Trucks got 300. I haven't put too much time into those games. Like, I enjoy them, but I can't play them for a long time, I find. I just one of those games where it's like, I'll play it, and I'll really want to play it for that one time when I'm playing, and then out of that, I uh, I don't want to play the game for whatever reason. So, I just every now and get an inkling. I'm like, oh, I want to play a little American Truck Sim. Like, usually it's when I hear trucks going down past me at, at work. And I'm like, oh, I need to grab, get get into American Truck Sim and try that out and see how it goes. Uh, just, you know, to kind of give me a, an idea of what it's like. So, it's kind of neat. But that's usually, usually the reason why I play... Uh, play that so yeah what else um farm sim i haven't seen any 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 crazy new mods that really jumped out at me unfortunately there's always some mods that are kind of like really neat and other mods that are kind of like eh. no actually it was landy kid now that i think about it, about that particular mod i think he pointed he said it's an fs-uk um which is a site i haven't been to much lately because there, for a long time, there was no mods coming out at all. What's the latest mods from FS-UK? Jolly Dodgers Big Bags, One Ton Bags, Class Rolant with Wrapper Arm, Collinson County S1 Silos, and Hillside Farm. Oh, PDA update. So, anyways, there you go. So those are some of the ones that are coming, that are on that particular website. But I hadn't checked back with FS-UK for ages, and then Landy was like, he said something was there, so I was like, oh, shoot, I should go check that out again. So, I don't know. There was a time where I would scour the internet every single day for new mods, but the problem was when you get add too many mods, you end up finding problems with some of them. So, for example, you have, like, conflicting mods, and some things that don't work the way you want it to. So, I don't know. I, I, even though I have a, quite a few mods now, I need to prune them back. There's a few mods I put in there a while back that just aren't very good. Like... Um, what was that one I'm thinking of? 
there was a T5 in there that looked kind of neat. Had some cool little functions, but the exhaust was way overkill on that one. So that really didn't, uh, I didn't like that very much. It was like you could do anything and just see you'd have like a, a plume of smoke coming out the exhaust, which is a little overkill. And it, it doesn't make any sense either because it's a new tractor, not an old tractor. If it was an old tractor, it would make a bit of sense. Like an FS50, what would happen is when you started up certain things, you'd see like a little plume of smoke go and then it would stop and go clear again, which is what's supposed to never happen really. So anyways, <sighs> goodness, we're finally getting some nice weather here in Ontario, um, which would really turn people on in the sense that, uh, because what I do, of course, uh, I used to be a teacher. Some people ask me about that. I used to teach English, and then I got a new job working for John Deere. And because I made that change, my job's a lot more seasonal now. Well, I guess my old job was seasonal too, just in a different way. It was like a school season as opposed to an actual season. So what happens now, as soon as the spring hits, like when you get the nice weather out and the grass needs to be cut, then you get more people wanting to come in to get lawn tractors and trimmers and all that jazz. Although we did have a nice storm this week. So maybe today we'll get lots of people buying chainsaws. I have no idea. My, my colleagues at work have suggested, uh, hello, anybody who's watching from work. Um, they have suggested it'll be a busy day today. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, what else is going on? Um, I picked up something from work, actually. Uh, where is it here? So I got a, <clears throat> still makes a, a landscape package. So they give you get uh, a pair of ear protection uh, ear protectors like this, which work really well. But I found they're not adjustable, so I was a little disappointed in that. Um, and then they also give you uh, you get a still T-shirt in that package as well, which is kind of neat. And you also get a pair of safety glasses that are kind of I, I got them for because they're like sunglasses, and you get a pair of gloves. And I wanted the gloves for work just so my hands didn't get torn up. Um, when I'm moving boxes because that has happened more than once now and I have like quite a few random paper cuts now on my knuckles everywhere which has been rather annoying so <laughs> thought I'd give the gloves a try and also, the other thing I, it's nice to do is um, one of the nice things is the fact that because you have um, because I'm trying some of the products you get to see what they're actually like so here's a little thought that I had the other day um, so in farm sim let's see if I can bring it up here I don't know if it's in it'll be in here or not in farm sim uh games farm sim 17 yes harvesters maybe it'll be in miscellaneous equipment i don't know if they list it under here uh no i think it's all just farm equipment they list they don't list uh chainsaws and whatnot anyways one of the chainsaws you can get in farm sim I have farm sim open one second here. I think it's gonna mute it. So uh, one of the chainsaws you can get in farm sim, there we go, is, where is it? An MS-261. Um, now the funny thing about that is the fact that we actually sell those at work, uh, the MS-261. And I was considering uh, making a video with it. Now it's not a cheap saw. It's like, uh, how, how expensive is that saw in real life? It's not a thousand dollars. I can tell you that MS2, MS, MS261 CM. So MS261, not mass, MS261. Let's see here. Still USA. No, we want, here we go. Uh, we'll do this. So this is the chainsaw you can get uh, in real life. Gas chainsaws, it's a forestry chainsaw. So the 261 is the chainsaw you get in Farm Sim. And I, I was considering making a video with that chainsaw uh, in real life, just to, just to show you what, what that chainsaw is like in real life in comparison. Now, if you think this is a good idea, let me know in the comments and we'll see, we'll see. It's so like in real life, that saw regularly MS the regular price for it is seven hundred and sixty dollars essentially. So the price in farm sim isn't far off, um, but it's a professional saw, uh, which is kind of interesting. I just happened to notice the other day, my buddy, uh, my colleague at work, he has a quite a few a few number of saws, and I just happened to ask him. I was like, hey, do you happen to have an MS two sixty one? He's like, no, that's the one I don't have. So it would have been sweet if he had had it, then I wouldn't have to purchase it. 
but I the problem is if I were to buy that I would uh, past making the video wouldn't have very many purposes for it I could always resell it after the fact or let's I could always go on Kijiji and see if I could find an MS261 let's just see just for argument's sake MS let's go for my area here and let's see if I could find one used that might be a funny idea actually uh -uh. Uh -uh -uh. Let's see. Yeah, I'm telling you, might be selling one. Uh, locations, Ontario. Let's see. Uh, I hate the way they break it down in Kijiji. There we go. Nothing? Okay, that might be too specific. Let's see if I just Kijiji chainsaw. Uh, oh, here's an old. So an old version of this saw, an O20, uh, a still O26, is 350 bucks. That's the only one apparently that's available for sale. And yeah, 350 dollars for that. Uh, it's, it's half price basically, but it is it is used. So, anyways, I thought it'd be kind of a funny little video uh, to make. Uh, a video of me using that chainsaw in real life uh, just so you can see the difference between that the g in game because like in game it's like this and it's like this there's like nothing in between almost it feels like so I thought it'd be kind of funny so anyways let me know in the comments below what you think about that anyways I realize what the time is now my name is Ian Robson I hope you enjoyed this coffee with Ian I always have fun chit chatting with you guys and um, that is the, the not the modem that is the hard drive that I picked up this year um for my other computer, so that should be pretty good. All right, until next time, folks, enjoy the coffee.